Hello and welcome to the top five drawbar settings. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome wherever you are. Different day, similar jumper, let's not get into that. I want to talk to you today just briefly about drawbar settings. We've kind of been here before, but I wanted to show you where I was and what the sounds I get are. So, are you familiar with drawbars in general? I don't know if you are or not, so let's just run through that. Um, Hammond organ, this is Hammond C3. It's a tone wheel thing, it's a mechanical generation of sound. Don't worry about that. What you wanna know is as you pull out these little levers here, sound comes out and the numbers one to eight are to do with the stops. It's like a church organ when you pulled out all the stops. Pulling out all the stops, right, you know? Doesn't matter. All you need to know is as you pull them out, noise appears, starting from a bassy end and going to a trebly end. And on the uh, later organs, you can see that they are measured in feet, like in a pipe, on a pipe organ, 16 foot, five and three, a third, and all those bits and bobs. Again, not important. Say you've got yourself one of the new clone wheels that I've been reviewing recently, or even a, a C3 or whatever, you need to know what those draw bars do, and I'm gonna show you. So, let's just quickly do the pull out of the draw bars thing, so you know where we are, okay? So, well, we're gonna go on this one. I did do it on here a moment ago, then I realized one of my draw bars has stopped working, so I'm gonna figure that one out later, but that, you know, it's a vintage, isn't it? Right. That's the bass one. Okay, so that's what they do. I hope that camera picked that bit up there because on here I have an issue with that one I noticed is dead. Couple of cuts today, just want to make sure that camera is picking up that set of draw bars. Really, really important. So let's do some settings. Let's do five settings. Well, a bluesy sound, right? So let's, uh, let's get all the overdrive off and all the naughtiness. Uh, a bluesy sound tends to be. 8880000000 that's how we record it can even be like that can even be like that but let's just get let's get a sound together see what you think right i'll put the same on the bottom just to make life a bit easier yeah that kind of sound that's with my overdrive off would you believe let's try, just try and uh, Make it a little cleaner still. There we go. Very nice, isn't it? A little bit of top sometimes. Yeah, that top one come in. Nice with some Leslie on. Let's go 888 Pretty sweet, isn't it? You could even do it with all the percussion up as well. No, you can't. Can't do it on this drawbar setting, of course you can't. Apologies, but this drawbar setting's down, so Okay. Leslie off. We're still we're still on the clean sound at the moment. As you build it in, you get, a, you get a feel for what's going on. So a bit more power, a bit more power. Let's have that one out as well, right? Still quite dirty, still quite dark, isn't it? But... Nice, nice and dark and earthy. If you were to switch the overdrive in, and give it some of a uh, technical term coming up, the beans, you'll hear. Beautiful. And then basically, we're going up through the treble range, but I want to show you some of the sounds uh, that I use 
commonly. So that's a sound I use a lot. And you see down here on the left hand, I tend to go eight, seven, six, seven. And that allows me to keep a bit of rhythm. Not upset the bass player and kind of make this sound nicer at the top. Yeah, the sound gets affected. Okay, there's uh, overdrive off again. So, so we're basically getting treble here. Okay, but so sound number one, that one. Okay, uh, and again, what John Lloyd used to push that one in a little bit, put the percussion on, and then you've got a bit of a little bit of child in time there as well. That one, play that, play that to taste. See what you think about that one. As we go through. I mean, I've actually got the overdrive switched off, that's how hard this thing drives. So, apologies for the clean fans. It's about as clean as I'm going to get it. We're starting to get a bit of character there, right? Again, let's just keep bringing it in for the moment. We've gone through the one sound. Nice and bright now up here. And now we're fully bright. Very, very churchy, right? Loads of bass there. The top half doing a lot of work down the bass. And the bottom half here did a lot of work at the top. Right, number, number two. So number three is what uh, I use a lot. And it depends on how it sounds, how you want to change it. But basically you've got these four out, all of the eights, and they're sort of fading away a little bit. I use this a lot. It's my standard rhythm sound. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? I do it with a bit of overdrive on. Nice, isn't it? Nice and dirty. Let's go back off. Very nice. Now you can adapt that sound, I, and I do, by pulling out these top two here. So this is going away. This will be number four, I guess. It's going to be nice and bright and zingy and happy, right? So. All right. See how this is quieter. Good. Lovely. Dirty noise on. So you get a lot of rhythm on that, it's quite nice, isn't it? Then we can go to, this is quite nice, it's very, very thuggish, but I like it. So, eight, 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 nought, nought. So some of those really bright ones are out, but good with fourth and fifth. Thank you. 
nice, isn't it? So dive on. Getting a bit Ken Hensley, aren't we? Can't remember how it goes. And then we have, we have all out, and we've done that, but we were the overdrive. Very pretty, very nice, isn't it? That's all in. I could probably do you. You know what I'm going to do. I know, but that's very nice too. Sometimes when I do the Perfect Street Rangers, I'll drop that off a little bit. Find the right place for it. And there we go, and there we go. So five or six nice sounds. Blues, blues with a bit of jazz. Stronger kind of blues. Bit of child in time, take that off, put the percussion on. That's not a bad sound as well. Getting into your, I don't know, you might just take your life kind of um, burn, deeper burn kind of sounds, a bit like that. Do it to taste, see what it sounds like through the PA you're working with, and you can just move that a bit to your ear. A bit more, a bit more solely. There is another solely one, of course. When you get to that one, just dropping these two out. So, not all the way be weird because they're, they're they're making the the root note but about there is quite nice see how far you can go out whilst it's still still doing what you needed to do Totally off. That's about right, isn't it? That's another one we've done. Then we drew those out there. That's a nice chat, nice tone. And then feel these two come in. Makes that the lower notes. few basic draw bar settings registrations and now I'm reminded that I need to fix this one because my he's not there he's gone I'll have the back off in a moment find out what's going on suspect solder I hope that was interesting for you I hope it was helpful educational whatever brilliant do let me know let me know if it's not please don't forget I've got the patreon there if you want all these videos straight away if you want to request anything from me, that's the only place to do it. So get over on there to do that and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.